Hello, welcome. In this short video, look at the linearity property of the Z transform. So, we are going to look at the linearity property of the Z transform. So, first let us look at the definition. That is, given a signal, given a signal x1 of n that is the first signal x1 of n which has a z transform x1 of z that is x1 of z is the corresponding z transform of x1 of n and another signal x2 of n which has a corresponding z transform x2 of z so, given these two signals x1 of n and x2 of n which have corresponding z transforms x1 of z and x2 of z then we can define a new signal x of n which is a linear combination of x1 of n and x2 of n that is a times x1 of n plus b times x2 of n. So, the z transform of this combined signal which is a linear combination of the original two signals is that is x of n will have a z transform x of z where this x of z will be equal to a times x1 of z plus b times x2 of z that is the z transform is also a linear combination of the corresponding individual z transforms so this is the linearity property of the z transform now the proof is actually straightforward let us look at that so, we want to find the z transform of the signal x of n that is by definition n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n. But we defined x of n as a linear combination of the two signals. Therefore, we have summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a times x1 of n plus b times x2 of n and then the summation is multiplied by z power minus n. That is this sum now this sum can be written as a combination of two sums that is is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a times x1 of n z power minus n plus summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity b times x2 of n z power minus n and by definition x1 of z is basically the z transform of x1 of n that means this term will become a times x1 of z and this term becomes b times x2 of z therefore the z transform of the combined signal x of n is given by a times x1 of z plus b times x2 of z therefore the linearity property is proved that is the linearity property directly follows from the definition of the z transform uh, now let us look at an example illustrating this linearity property that is we will exploit the linearity property in computing the z transform of a of a complicated signal that is define a signal x of n so we are going to look at an example so define a signal x of n which is basically a combination of two signals that is for example we have 3 times 2 power n minus 4 times 3 power n and this whole difference is multiplied by u of n so given this composite signal a combination of two signals we want to find the z transform of x of n by using the linearity property so first let us define a component that is x1 of n is equal to 2 power n u of n obviously the corresponding z transform will be equal to 1 by 1 minus 2 times z inverse where the roc is mod z greater than 2 this is the z transform of 2 power n u of n next for x2 of n we define the second component x2 of n as 3 power n u of n similarly x2 of z will be equal to 1 by 1 minus 3 times z inverse where the roc is mod z greater than 3 here the roc is basically the whole z plane outside the circle of radius 2 here the roc is the whole z plane outside the circle of radius 3 now to find the z transform of x of n we have to just combine these two z transforms x1 of z and x2 of z and the weights are basically 3 and minus 4 therefore the combined z transform x of z is equal to 3 times x1 of z minus 4 times x2 of z and by using the results here we can clearly write x of z as 
3 divided by 1 minus 2 z inverse and then minus 4 divided by 1 minus 3 z inverse. So, this is the total z transform. Now, we need to find the combined ROC or the ROC of the signal x of z of the z transform x of z. So, the ROC for z transform x of z is basically intersection of ROCs of x1 of z and x2 of z. So, we have to find the intersection of the two ROCs that is z greater than 2 and mod z greater than 3. Right. So, the combined ROC is the combined ROC is basically the intersection of these two regions that is the first one is uh, whole z plane outside the circle of radius 2 and the second one second one is the whole z plane outside the radius scale 3. So, this is ROC 1 this is ROC 2. So, the intersection of these two is obviously the second one that is if you do intersection between these two ROCs what we get is the combined ROC is the whole z plane outside the circle of radius 3. So, this is the overall ROC for x of z. So, this one corresponds to x of z linear combination of x1 of z and x2 of z. So, this is the ROC of the combined signal x of n or the z transform of the combined signal x of n. This is the ROC of the z transform of the combined signal x of n. So, therefore, the ROC is z greater than 3. So, this is the ROC for the x of z. So, to summarize, we have looked at the definition of the linearity property. We have looked at the definition of the linearity property for z transforms, which basically says that when we have two signals x1 of n and x2 of n and then we have x of n which is a linear combination of these two signals then the corresponding z transform is also a linear combination of the corresponding z transform that is x of z is a linear combination of x1 of z and x2 of z. And we also look at an example illustrating this linearity property or using this linearity property. So, we used uh, we found the z transform of x of n which is 3 times 2 power n minus 4 times 3 power n into u of n. So, the z transform can be determined by looking at the individual z transforms of 2 power n u n and 3 power n u of n. Just by combining them with the given weights, we get the overall z transform. And the corresponding ROC is basically intersection of the ROCs of the individual z transforms. Thanks for watching.